Planet Dolan. Ever since humans came down out of the trees, we've been creating ways to get from A to B as easily and comfortably as possible. But are all vehicles made to be useful? And if we missed a great opportunity just because something looked a little too crazy, here's the top 15 most insane vehicles ever. I'm Hellbent, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. Riding a unicycle makes you look like a clown or a hipster, but the Rhino actually looks pretty cool. This one-wheeled electric motorcycle will do about 10 miles per hour with around an hour's battery life. It's controlled like a Segway, where you lean forward to accelerate and backwards to brake. Creator Chris Hoffman was actually challenged to make it by his daughter, who had seen one in a video game. Number 14. Ben and Jerry's co-founder Ben Cohen wanted to make a prop to comment on the US government's priorities, which seemed to him to be completely upside down. He commissioned art car maker Tom Kennedy to make a topsy-turvy bus, with one bus welded upside down on top of the other. It's now in the hands of Hands-On, an environmental organization who uses it to run educational programs for kids. Number 13. For many people, the phrase mobile home conjures trailer parks and depressing camping holidays. But the Element Plaza is far nicer than your apartment and it can drive to wherever neighborhood it wants. It costs $3 million and comes with three whole floors. Two are inside, but the top can convert into a sky lounge with the touch of a button. Just don't use it while on the move. Your mojito will go everywhere. Number 12. First appearing in 1962, the Peel P-50 is the smallest production car ever made. It was a meter wide, a meter high, and just 1.30 meters long. And it weighed about as much as a teenage boy. A few years later, they made a two-seater version called the Trident, which featured a futuristic bubble dome. Production stopped in the 60s, but a new business is now making them to order, so you can bash your head in one for just $16,000. Number 11. Johannes Legender always wanted a fancy sports car, but he couldn't quite get the money together. Instead, he decided to build one himself. The Austrian artist constructed a surprisingly realistic Ferrari frame around a pair of bicycles using plastic tubing and packaging tape to put it all together. He named his creation the Ferrari after the German Farad, meaning bicycle. Number 10. You've probably seen a seaplane before, but what if you didn't have to stop at the ocean's surface and could dive down beneath the waves? Well, the Reed RFS-1 managed to achieve this weird feat. Well, kind of. You'd have to land on the water first, then go about removing the propeller and covering the engine. It only managed to fly about 25 meters, but this was just built by one guy with a very limited budget. But the idea didn't sink entirely. In 2008, the U.S. Defense Department asked for bids to make a submersible aircraft. Number 9. This may look like a normal bike, but it has one simple difference. When you turn the handlebars left, the wheel turns right. The bike was created by the team at the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day. The amazing thing is that this one simple change makes the bike almost impossible to ride. Presenter Dustin practiced for five minutes every day and it took him about eight months to be able to use it. Number 8. Namuth Parasol was designed to take off and land within a very small space. It had a circular wing, which made it very easy to control and said most people could learn the skill in just half an hour. The name comes because the wing shape meant that it would float down to earth like a parachute. Even if the engines cut out, they proved this in testing. But the high drag really limited the speed, so it never got beyond the prototype stage. Number 7. Cable cars can be a pretty intense experience for vertigo sufferers, but at least there's always a good thick layer of metal and glass between you and the drop to your death. But the cabrio can go convertible, so you can climb the mountainside exposed to the open air. It takes you almost two kilometers up the Swiss Alps and six 60 people across two floors. And if you try to cower below the open deck, well, the bottom floor's made of glass, so good luck with that. Number 6. 
Phil Weaker and Duncan Foster came up with the answer to a question not many people were asking. Can you take a hot tub for a spin? They converted a 969 Cadillac Coupe DeVille into a hot tub on the move, giving it a watertight steering system and recycling some of the engine heat to warm the water. Just don't ask where they keep their license and registration. Number 5 If you've ever watched Star Wars, you'll be familiar with the idea of a large craft having a fleet of small fighters to protect it. Well, the McDonald XF-85 Goblin was designed at the end of World War II as a so-called parasite fighter, which would be kept inside of a B-36 bomber and then released through the bomb bay doors if enemy fighters were spotted. It never saw combat since the Air Force figured out a way to refuel their fighters while flying. They also never managed to find a good system to recover the Goblin from the air. Number 4 Swedish artist Michael Johansson created a supersized toy with his boat named Toys R Us. All the necessary parts of a regular boat had been laid out around it and attached together if it were a life-sized model. It's all covered in a matching coat of plastic paint to complete the look. He's also done the same procedure with a bike. Number 3 for most train spotters, and we mean the actual ones, not the Scottish heroin ones, the excitement is in finding the specific model numbers and configurations. But almost everyone would be thrilled to come across the M497 Black Beetle. In the 60s, the train companies knew they had long lost the long distance market to aircraft. So to make the short and medium journeys faster, they decided to adopt the same jet engine strapped to the top of the train. The Black Beetle was never used in public, but it still holds the American train speed record of 295.88 km per hour. Number 2 Self-driving cars are no longer a future concept, they'll be appearing on roads in increasing numbers soon. But the same may also be true of the self-driving motorbike. Honda's new bike self-balance was designed to keep riders safe at low speeds when the bike is less stable and more likely to topple. Rather than using gyroscopes, a computer takes control of the wheels to automatically balance the weight. Number 1 Chrysler had long been looking into the turbine engine since World War II. The aim was to replace piston engines with this much more simple spinning blade system. There were a lot of benefits, it had fewer moving parts, it could start easily in cold weather, last longer, and it could run on almost any fuel. So, when the Chrysler turbine appeared in 1964, this fuel claim was tested in what sounds like a series of national stereotypes. In France, they filled it with Chanel No. 5, and in Mexico, the president drove it around filled with tequila. Ah, uh, you know, the car was filled. Not the president, I think. Okay, that wasn't so good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.